So in our paper, we uh, investigate risk reduction activities when people are not exactly sure about the true benefit of that activity. So that is a phenomena that we call technological uncertainty. For example, this can be the decision to take up a flu shot or not, when you don't exactly know uh, whether or to which extent the flu shot would help reduce the chances of catching a flu this year, or it could be our society's effort to you know, fight against climate change in the lack of sufficient scientific knowledge about whether it will work. So our main research question can be seen as a uh, will technological uncertainty increase or decrease our optimal effort? So do we do more when we know less? So uh, what we have found essentially is that the impact of technological uncertainty is jointly determined by A, the effectiveness of the uh, technology, and B, the uh, decision makers' risk preferences. And for instance, uh, for a prudent individual, so prudent means that you are uh, averse to the so-called downside risk and are therefore known to uh, accumulate precautionary saving, uh, for these people, uh, they tend to raise their uh, effort in the face of technological uncertainty as long as uh, large losses are easier to mitigate than smaller losses. Yeah, and this is in line with the uh, so-called precautionary principle that is written in the real declaration, for example. Yeah, but uh, what we also find that uh, that is not the only case. So there are also cases where you would decrease your efforts. So we would do less when you know less. And this would be, for example, when you are imprudent. Yeah. So you can basically understand our paper as a checklist that tells you which conditions make more effort the right decision to do. So first of all, uh, I think technological uncertainty is a, a widespread phenomena that is relevant for individuals, for households, for organizations, and also the society as a whole. And in reality, we do hear very different opinions from people about how to deal with the uh, technological uncertainty. Some might say that, uh, why even bother investing so much money you know, in fighting climate change when you don't even know how it works, whether it will work. But others may say that because of this uncertainty, because we don't know whether it will work, that is when you need to work more in order to be more certain to stay on the safe side. And what our analysis shows is that both sides have their point and that uh, we make it transparent which conditions make uh, which decision to be the right one. And in this way, we can uh, help both parties, so those uh, skeptics and proponents for additional risk management to, in this sense, reach an uh, informed com compromise.